So guys, Sweden is making a city made up of entirely of timber. Yes, guys, a city made up of wood. This sounds like a very ancient concept, but actually in modern day scenario, this is one of the best concept that you can come up with. And in this video, we will know why this is one of the best concept for the future of human generation. So without any delays, let's get started with the video. So guys, they have named this city as Stockholm's Wood City. This is a collaborative project between a Danish firm, which is named as Henning Larsen, and a Swedish firm named as White Architectures. I know it's a bit weird, but this city is a massive, massive city. This is not a very small city. This will have more than 7,000 offices, 2,000 homes, and it has the expanse of 2,50,000 square meters. This is a massive project and a massive investment. The groundbreaking will be done in 2025 and the first structure will be ready by 2027 approximately. And now let's talk about why wooden architecture or the buildings that are made from wood is the future of humankind. Why to destroy forests to take this constructing timber and make these huge cities? Why not just use cement, concrete and things like that? So my answer is, wood is a carbon neutral element. Yes, you heard me right. It produces negative carbon dioxide in the process of manufacturing. For example, a wood to grow from a small sapling to a big tree till the maturity level of 10 years it is achieved or 15 or 20 years, it actually consumes carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and from the soil to grow into that timber that we see. And a single tree can consume up to 100 kg of CO2 from atmosphere. And on counter of that, to produce 1000 kg of cement, you might have heard about cement. It produces 900 kg of CO2 in the atmosphere. So now do the maths. By building timber structures, we can actually reduce the CO2 in the atmosphere. And finally, probably neutralize the global warming scenario that is happening right now. And now people will be talking to me or commenting probably like, but why are we cutting forest? We shouldn't be cutting trees for that. So my answer is these wood that are used for the construction and especially in Canada as well, these are FSC certified wood. Now you will ask what is FSC certified wood? It is called Forest Stewardship Certificate. So that means like these wood or the timber that we are using over here was grown for the sole purpose of construction in the first place. So they take up land, they don't cut forest, they take up land like farmland. These farmers just grow trees. They grow trees for like 10, 20 years. They have small patches and they dedicate these patches for certain years. Like this particular patch will be harvested in five years. This particular patch will be harvested in the next coming year. So these are forest stewardship certified wood. And that's how the ecological balance is also maintained. In fact, the consumption of these kind of timber will encourage more people to plant more trees. So by the time these trees get matured, they already have done their part in reducing the atmospheric CO2. Now next constraint which people talk to me is, but wooden structures are weak. So guys, Nowadays, there are different kind of man-made timber where they are using different kind of 
glue lamp techniques where they are having slices of wood pressed artificially together with glues and different kind of compound or binding agents which are even like not harmful for humans like there are those kind of timber as well and they make these kind of timber and these timber are actually more stronger than normal wood or normal timber that you will find in the market so that's how timber buildings are feasible and are possible over here for example like there are buildings in canada and all around the world like these buildings are like 10 14 and 15 story high and there are buildings which are even 20 stories high made entirely of timber and this is possible because of this glue lamp technique they are like a timber building is even healthier for your well being as well they produce less volatile organic compound into your interior spaces they last almost as equivalent to a concrete building they give fantastic amount of insulation for all the countries that are co located in cold region they give really amazing insulation opportunities so these are the benefits of wood and that's why i am so excited about these kind of projects because recently i worked on this project this is a building that we designed and this is a 30 story high building it is a conceptual project that we are working on right now but this is entirely made up of timber and projects like these will help or encourage the construction industries to move toward these kind of concepts so think about it and if you like this video go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel and guys i will see you soon take care of yourself bye bye